Temperatures of up to 125 and higher in Chicago. It's not in our seven day forecast, but a new study shows that alarming number could be in our not so distant future. Climate experts warn of an extreme heat belt that stretches through the middle part of the country, including Chicago. CBS 2's Jackie Kostick explains how this will affect us over the next 30 years. Not only does the study project extreme temperatures, but also prolonged periods of heat as well. And that doesn't just mean having a few extra uncomfortably hot summer days, but it also means real life consequences for everything from infrastructure to personal health. We will look back and this will be a comfortable summer. In Chicago, it has been a mostly comfortable summer, but a new study published by the nonprofit research and tech group First Street Foundation shows an emerging extreme heat belt. About a quarter of the country, that is by 2053, expected to experience temperatures exceeding 125 degrees. So why does the model predict temps to be most extreme in the middle part of the country? Proximity to water matters a lot. First Street Foundation founder and CEO Matthew Eby says many places already known for heat, like the Deep South, actually do experience a cooling effect from winds off the ocean. Lake Michigan does not provide the same relief. In Chicago, with the water right there, you would assume, well, then it can't get to that 125. But the way the winds go with the prevailing wind, it, go, it doesn't come from the water, comes to the water. So the heat is not actually helped by the water and the proximity to the water in the same way that it would be if you were in Florida, Louisiana, or, or Texas. The effects of that extreme heat in Chicago are potentially life changing, EB says. The study shows building materials like steel absorb heat easily, reaching surface temperatures of 140 degrees plus. That could burn people's skin and dogs' paws on the sidewalk, EB says, and cause joints and bridges to swell and railway lines to become wavy, leading to possible derailments. That's when you're talking about the integrity of bridges built to the wrong standard for what you would expect for the joists or the points that actually have to bear the weight. So when that heat impacts it, the, the stability of the metal isn't what it would be at a lower temperature. But infrastructure is just one part of it. Amir Gina is an economist and climate scientist who teaches at the University of Chicago. He says extreme temperatures can lead to heat-related illness and exasperate pre-existing health conditions but also raise energy costs. It's the people who are um, kind of living in poverty, less well off, who really bear those burdens because a lot of the ways we have to deal with this is to stay indoors, work from home, that kind of stuff. If you're not able to do that, you're forced to be exposed more. And if you want to know exactly how this could impact you and where you live in Chicago, First Street Foundation actually has a free online tool that allows you to type in your address and predict what you could be most at risk of over the next few decades and shows you how you can prepare. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.